Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Natalie Caitlin and my channel name is The Stylish Man. I post medicine, productivity and lifestyle videos. Today I'm catering for medical students with a new series that will run over my channel over the next couple of weeks. In this series I'll be sharing books, resources and everything you need for your clinical years. So this is the final video in this series you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos and most importantly have actually found these books useful. I hope they will make your lives in medicine easier as they did mine. I hope you will find your favorites and books that will just help make things easy to understand because that is the most important thing, finding something that will make you understand something and let it stay in here. In case this is the first video you're watching, I shared four videos before this one. I shared books and resources you need for internal medicine, books and resources you need for surgery, books and resources you need for pediatrics, and last week I shared books and resources you need for obstetrics and gynecology. In this video, I will be sharing um, resources you need for your clinical years in general. It might not necessarily be for medicine, surgery, peds and gynae, but it will help you while you're doing your clinical years, especially during your rotations in the hospital. And so, let's get right into it. So the first th uh, resource I want to talk about is actually a textbook, a Clinical Examination, a Systematic Guide to Physical Diagnosis. This book will change your life. Let me tell you this book. <laughs> Guys, if you struggle like in the hospital to do like physical exam or like physical, just physical diagnosis and anything physical in the hospital, then this is your best friend. This book is so helpful, let me tell you. It has basically um, all the systems. So it has the cardiovascular system, it has the gastrointestinal system, the respiratory system, the genitourinary system, the hematological system, rheumatological system, endocrine system, nervous system, and finally like the specialty examinations so it basically gives you an overview of how to do physical exam in all those systems um, and then it gives you like the typical symptoms and signs and what they mean and how to then go about and diagnose the disease so this book is your best friend it's perfect for OSCEs and perfect for um, when you're doing your rotations in the hospital because textbooks give you like you know the clinical um, information and like you know your clinical manifestations, you have your physiology, you have your treatment, you have your stuff, but you don't really get like a detailed in-depth look into how to actually examine, how to actually you know be with the patient and so this is why this book is perfect. And the next textbook that I feel like will change your life in your clinical years, particularly when you're like doing ward rounds and then someone shoots a question at you and you have no idea, but you have a phone. So you just open your phone and check Toronto Notes. Toronto Notes is the best thing, the best thing to ever happen to medical students, I tell you. Toronto Notes, let me read the full name for you. It's Toronto Notes Comprehensive Medical Reference and Review for MCCQE1 and USLME2. So this Toronto Notes, um, or TN as we like to call it here, basically has um, all the diseases and all the examination and everything you need for all your clinical years, like internal medicine, surgery, peds, autism guiding, everything, you name it. And I like that it divides everything into, like from A to Z, as in, um, cardiovascular system, cardiology, dermatology, emergency medicine, endocrinology, family medicine, gynecology, geriatrics. So what it basically has is um, just like a breakdown from etiology, pathophysiology, clinical manifestations, treatment. And it's basically everything that you will ever be asked in a clinical setting. I use this book mostly in my internal medicine rotation where it would be like grand rounds and the doctor in charge is asking everyone, everyone any kind of questions. It could be like we're presenting um, an admission in cardiology for example and then he asks 
starts shooting questions and things can just like divert from cardiology to rheumatology to whatever and so if you have Toronto nose you just open it and then you like quickly check and then okay you update yourself and when the question comes hopefully you'll know more ready it's, it's perfect if you studied for you to summarize and just you know um get that overview of the disease and also perfect if you haven't studied because it's got enough information for you to be aware of what's going on because you can quickly look up something if you've forgotten or if you don't particularly know too much information about it and so you just get to have a look and um, see if your management is right for example if you have a patient with preeclampsia and then you see what it says like as like for the management and then you compare that with your management um, of the patient and see if you've left anything out for example that's how people tend to use it here. And so the next resource I like to talk about for your clinical years in general is Medscape. Medscape is a medical student, a doctor, a anyone in the health profession's best friend. Diseases, to news about diseases, to calculators for different things in the hospital, to drugs, um, doses, everything you need. And what I particularly like using Medscape for is for like dosages for drugs. Um, I don't know about you guys, but in my medical school, we didn't really get to learn like the dosages um, for different drugs. I might know the drug that I need to treat a certain condition, but I don't know the dosage. We were never taught that, and so I've had to kind of like teach myself. And then also with practice, I now know that I'll give paracetamol one gram TDS, or I'll give cefotaxime IV one gram um, TDS, or whatever. And so. Medscape helps you with that if you don't know like the drug dosages and I find a lot of doctors use it as well if they are not sure or if they haven't used a drug in a while or it's a new drug that they've never used and they're just going to look it up and see what's the dosage and the indications for this drug. And one place I've also seen it being used frequently is in the obstetrics department where they use it to calculate the estimated date of delivery for patients based off their last normal menstrual period and also to calculate other formulas and um, stuff like nephrology and cardiology. So Medscape is really like um, comprehensive and just perfect for medical people in general, regardless whether you're a student, a doctor, a specialist, whatever, everyone uses Medscape. And so I highly, highly, highly recommend that you download Medscape onto your phone. Next resource that I will share with you guys for your clinical years in general, and even before your clinical years, is Dr. Najib's YouTube channel. You guys, if you have not watched Dr. Najib's videos, you are sleeping on yourself, you are killing yourself. Dr. Najib is very good at explaining things. His lessons are very detailed, but very informative and very educational, and he explains things in the simplest of ways. My favorite, favorite, favorite video of all time by Dr. Najib is his ECG basics. That video is three hours long, but I watched all of it, and I've watched it more than twice. That video explains ECG in the simplest of ways. So if you struggle to watch ECG, if, if, if you struggle with ECG, I highly recommend that you go and watch that video. I will leave it linked um, up here and in the description box so you can check it out. But basically, regardless of the topic it is that you're looking for, if you can't find information or you just feel like you're struggling to understand the concept, look up um, that topic and then add Dr. Najib at the end of your search um, content and see if he has a video on it. Chances are he will help you understand. And then the last resource I want to share with you guys for your clinical years in general is Clinical Problems in Medicine and Surgery. This is a book that has questions for both medicine and surgery so you get to put it together. Um, sometimes, especially like in emergency medicine or in accident and emergency when patients come, you don't particularly know um, you don't really have an idea if it's medicine or surgery or um, what is the case before you actually get to sit down with the patient and take history and examine the patient. And so this book is good because you get to assess your medicine and surgical knowledge together, not separately like you do at school. And that's how it is in medicine. You will sometimes have, if you're in a different department, yes, you'll have your medical cases and then your surgical cases and then your peace cases and then your obstetric and cases. But if you're like in a clinic or in A&E or in just like in the outskirts, you will typically have like a combination of cases. So it's very important for you to be able to um, know your medicine and surgery together and also be able to put them apart when they've come together. And sometimes patients have both a combination of medical and surgical um, conditions and so it's important for you to be able to recognize that as well. So these are the resources that I find useful in my clinical years in general and I really, 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 really hope that you 
found this useful i hope that you guys found this series useful and um yeah please do share these videos with your friends your classmates your family leave a like leave a comment let me know which one was your favorite video let me know which ones were your favorite books let me know which books you're excited to try let me know if there's any other videos or series you want me to do in the future subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and more videos from me in general and i will see you in my next videos bye